In these problems, we are working on finding the areas of kites and rhombuses, or maybe it's rhombi, that's the plural of that, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at this first one. It says, find the area of the kite ABCD if BD equals 16 centimeters, so that's a, what we call a diagonal here. BD is 16, and AB, okay, they're giving us one of the sides, is 10. And another side, BC is 17 says the kite is not drawn to scale. How are we going to go about solving this? Well, the formula for the area of a kite, probably the easiest way to find the area, is if you have both of the diagonals. It's the first diagonal times the second diagonal divided by two. We only have one of the diagonals here. The other diagonal is not there. So what are we going to do? Well, let's go ahead and draw in this diagonal. And we'll talk a little bit about one of the properties of kites that's really helpful here. And that is that these diagonals will be perpendicular to each other. So this is a 90 degree angle, so are all these others. So suddenly I have four right triangles, and that's got to come in handy. And the other property is that this long diagonal is going to bisect, cut exactly in half, this shorter diagonal. So since this BD was 16, I know this side is 8 and this side is 8. Now what I want to do is get the second diagonal. So I want to find this side and this side. And it looks like I can now because I have this side of a triangle, which is 8, and I have the hypotenuse of either of these other triangles on the top here. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side and this side. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's work on this triangle over here first. I would have 8 squared plus b squared, so b is going to be this side, equals 10 squared. And so that's 64 plus b squared equals 100. And that is b squared equals, subtracting 64 from both sides, 36. Oh, that's handy. So b equals 6 when I take the square root of both sides. So this part is 6. Let's try the other one. We're going to find this side now. We've got 8 squared plus b squared equals 17 squared. Let's see how that comes out. That's 64 plus b squared equals, and 17 squared is 289. And then subtract 64 from both sides, you would get b squared equals 225. Ah, this is a good number, too, because uh, that is a perfect square of 15. So b, if we take the square root of both sides, equals 15. All right, so we know this chunk is 15. Now, to get this whole diagonal, I just have to add those two parts together. So 6 plus 15. So diagonal 1, that's this one. That was 16. They told us that. So diagonal 1 equals 16. Diagonal 2 equals 6 plus 15, that's 21. So to find the area now, all I have to do is plug it into this formula. That's 16 times 21 divided by 2. And let's see, that equals 168. And remember, this is area, and the units were centimeters, so this is square centimeters. And that's our answer. A little bit of work, but nothing we can't handle. Let's look at the next one. This one we don't have a picture, so I guess we'll have to draw our own. It says in rhombus ABCD, AB is 7, AC is 10. Find the area. Now, a rhombus is a kind of kite. It's just a kite that has all its sides the same length. So if you think about that, you might have something that looks like this, or close enough. Uh, just imagine all the sides are exactly the same length. And if we're going to label this A, B, C, D, they're telling us AB is 7, and AC, aha, uh -huh, that's one of the diagonals, is 10. Now what we need to do, we're going to use the same formula because it's a kind of kite. We can use the area equals the diagonals multiplied together and divided by 2. We want to find this diagonal, BD. Now the nice thing about uh, a rhombus, since it's a subset of a kite, you know that these uh, diagonals are going to form a 90 degree angle. So we've got four right triangles again. Also, both the diagonals bisect each other. That means they cut each other exactly in half. So since AC is 10, we actually know this side is 5 and this side is 5. And we know whatever this side is here, one of these lengths, this length is going to be the same. So all we really have to do is find, you know, that side right there. And lo and behold, I have the hypotenuse up here. Uh, that's 7, and this side is 5 down here. So let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. 
we'll call this side a that we're looking for a squared plus well, b is 5 so 5 squared equals 7 squared so that's a squared plus 25 equals 49 that's a squared equals 24 so a is the square root of 24 after we square or take the square root of both sides and let's see that's about well let's say 4.90 and now we've got if we double that we're going to have the length of that diagonal so that would be so 2 times 4.90 is uh, 9.8 and now we'll plug it into that formula uh, so diagonal 1 they gave us that was 10 Diagonal 2 is 9.8, so 10 times 9.8 divided by 2, and that gives us 49. Now, they wanted this to the nearest tenth, and really I had an extra zero there. This is 49.0. You can check this out on your own calculator. And the units here, well, it looks like they didn't give us units, so we'll just say units squared because it's area. All right, so one more. This one says, if a kite has diagonals of lengths 13 and 14 centimeters, what's the area of a kite? Now this one, you could draw a picture for if you want to, but look, they're giving you both of the diagonals. And you know the formula for the area of a kite is the first diagonal times the second diagonal divided by 2. So really, this one's pretty simple. It's just 13 times 14 divided by 2. Punch that out in your calculator, and I think you're going to get 91, and it was centimeters. This is area, so it's square centimeters. So that's a little bit about uh, the areas of kites and rhombuses, or rhombi, however you want to say that. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at Edvision's Off-Campus School. It's an online project-based school for 7th through 12th graders. If you're in Minnesota, you can check us out at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.